today, let's talk about the best video editing app for smartphones. Whether you're creating for TikTok, YouTube, or Facebook and Instagram stories, I will show you the best video editing app that you can use for your smartphones and I will teach you the step-by-step -step process on how I edit a video using this application. So this app is called CapCut and it's available for both iPhone and Android. CapCut is a free all-in-one video editing app that is made for everyone which means whether you're a professional, hobbyist, or a YouTube and TikTok creator, you can use this app for free without annoying ads, watermark, and you can use its premium and advanced features without paying for monthly subscriptions. And yes, this app is very easy to use, and I guarantee you that if you watch this whole video, you will be a master in smartphone video editing. Okay, so now let's proceed to a quick overview of the app and our editing tutorial. And for this one, I'll be using a mouse while editing for you guys to further understand what's going on on my phone. So let's start by opening the app. And the first thing we'll do is to create a new project. And let's select the clips that we want to use. So, just like that. And once you're done, just click Add. And now here's what we call a project timeline or project composition. And as we scroll through our timeline, we can see each of the clips that we've selected earlier. And remember, you can always add some more clips if you want by clicking this plus icon right here. And just select the clips, click Add. And alright, that's our new clip. And if you want to change the order or sequence of your clips, just hold the clip that you want to move and you can place it to wherever you like. So let's move this one right here. And if you ever want to cut a clip, just select the clip that you want to cut and you can pull this from either left or right. It depends on the length of the clip that you want. And as you do that, you can always see the length of the remaining clip right here. Another way to cut is by selecting the split button. So once we select our clip, just click split. And now we can delete the part of the clip that we don't want to use. Alright? So now let's proceed to animations. And I will teach you how to create this kind of video with just few simple clicks. So once we select our clip and click for animations, you will have three options. First, we have the in, which is making our clips go inward. Then out for making our clips exit the frame. While for combo is adding two animations for both the beginning and end of our clip. So selecting either of the three will give you a lot of options, but for this clip, I want to use some combo animation. So let's try to use this um, uh, combination of distort left and let's put another one. And then for the next, let's use train one and pendulum two. Because for each shot, I want to match its camera movements. And now let's try to play it back. Nice! Another trendy effect that I want to show you is called style. Style is basically changing the look of your photos with just one simple click. So let's take these photos of Rose from Blackpink for example. And this is how it looks without the style that I'm telling you about. And then to do that, just select a photo, click on style. And here, we can have a lot of options, which I will show you later. But for the meantime, let's try to apply the first one, which is called the 3D Zoom Pro. Once you're done, let's also do it for each of the photos. And just like that, after a few clicks, here is our final product. You can also choose different or other styles and applying these styles can take our photos to the next level. There is also a tab here called effects and as we click on that, we will have two options which is video effects and body effects. The difference between the two is that video effects applies the selected effect to the overall video or image. So for example, for this set of animations, 
Let's try to put this one um, called Vintage Cute, which we can find right here. Let's replay this back. We can see that the effect is scattered all over our image. And that's what the video effect does. Unlike the other one, which is called Body Effects, it only applies to the body or the head of the subject depends on the effect that you will be using. So for body effects, let's try to use this called Electric Shock since it has the same color as our third photo. Then let's put it right there. And for our overall body effects, let's use this one called um, Halo 2 and extend it all over our timeline. And for our last clip, I would also like to add this one. Alright, and here's our final product. And if you want to put some transitions to your videos, just click this button at the middle of each clip. But before that, let's try to play this back without any transitions. Okay, just plain and simple. And when we try to click this button, the transitions tab will come out and we can select whatever transition we like. For example, for the first transition, I want to use a zoom in since the second shot was a slow motion. So let's try to do that by selecting this button and let's go to camera tab and let's select the pull in transition. Then let's play this back. Wow, that looks amazing. Now let's also apply some transitions to the other clips and for this one, I think I want to use the uh, pull out since my subject is going inward. And for the last one, the camera didn't move at all. So I think the perfect transition here would be this one, which is like fading the clips to white. And you can always adjust the duration on how long you want your transition to be by pulling the slider to the left or right. So let's try to play our final product. Nice! And again, for photos and videos, to make them pop a little more, we can apply some filters or do some adjustments by selecting this filter button right here. Select whatever filter you like, and each filter can give different feels and mood on your videos. But for this one, let's select um, uh, Holiday, and let's set it to about a 40% uh, intensity. And once you're done, just click check and let's extend this effect to be applied to the other clips. And as we click back, we can furtherly adjust the look of our videos by selecting the adjust tab. From brightness, contrast, saturation, and so on. It's up to you on what kind of look do you want for your video. And to make these shots more interesting, we can add some music by clicking this add audio button. And once we do that, we can select from either CapCut's audio library. We can import our own music. We can extract music from other videos. Or we can do some voice over. So in our case, let's extract the audio from the music that I screen recorded earlier. And as we select import sound only, CapCut will automatically extract the audio and put it at the bottom as you can see right here. So let's try to play this back with music. So, that's so much better than without music. And if you ever want to add text to your video, maybe you want to add some captions so that your audience would understand what you'd like to tell them, just select text, then add text. So let's put some uh, like uh, beach vibes. And you can customize your font. Maybe you want to change its color, but I want to leave it in white. Or put some background. And we can select different effects. And of course, you can apply different animations. And we can extend the length of this text animation. And that's how it looks. Same goes for stickers. Once you select stickers, you can put any emojis that you want. You can resize it to either big or small. Or you can select other popular stickers or stickers with animations for us to help express our emotions through our videos. And if you guys ever need to play two videos at the same time, or maybe you're doing a tutorial like this, 
or you want to show some photo or you're doing a reaction video here's what you're going to do so let's take this silhouette photo as an example and then let's select this overlay tab click on add overlay then let's select our second clip which is this one then let's go to mask select circle and put the circle mask on my face to make it look like a reaction video then let's do some repositioning and now let's watch the final product so this shot was taken in palawan and this is my favorite silhouette photo of myself so that's the overview of the best and my favorite video editing app for smartphones. What I taught you was only the basics, but I will teach you some advanced smartphone video editing on my next videos. CapCut changed the game for us video creators. Imagine with just few simple clicks, we can now create some awesome and cool looking videos that we can share to everyone. Actually, CapCut won some awards, which is um, being the best app for fun categories on Google Play, and being the top iOS app in US for 2021. So if you guys want to check this video editing app, you can check the link in my description below for you to download. Either you use an iOS or an Android, it's absolutely for free. So that's it guys for our video. I hope that you've learned from this one because mobile video editing has been requested a lot by you guys. So for the next video, we'll be doing another mobile video editing tutorial. So stay tuned, stay safe everyone. I hope to see you in the next one and God bless.